on Mondays, we love to start our week off right in our fresh start Amanda. with First Watch, of course. So say hello to our friend Amanda, who joins us now. Amanda, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good busy. Mother's Day? Busy? I did. Yeah. It was busy. Did the restaurants do well? Did very well. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Well, Brunch is a good so we Mother's Day thing. So we thank everyone that came out to First yes. Watch to yeah. thank, thank your mom. Absolutely. We absolutely. loved having you. I'm Let's sure that real. was a yes. good decision. Yes. It was a good decision. It was a truly good decision. I believe it. Okay, so, so we always love having you at the start of the week. something out of the yeah. cookbook. What are we making? We are the chili chorizo omelet. Mm. Better known to us in the First Watch world as the Acapulco. The Acapulco. Ooh. Yeah, okay. so when we call it, because you know we're a call kitchen, case sure. for those of you that don't know. We're a call kitchen, so when we call it, we call it as an Acapulco because we have to keep it to as minimal words as possible. You're very Interesting. efficient at First Watch. Yeah. We try. Yeah. We try. Yeah. We try. So it's a yellow omelet. And Which tell us why you ask, say that. Like, yeah. Why is it because yellow? Because we do have white omelets. Okay. And you can substitute egg whites for any omelet. Any is. omelet. Yes. Okay, good to know. Which makes sense once you say and, it. But yeah. Yeah. I was like, right. what's a yellow? So we couldn't figure that out earlier, <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> shame like, on us. <laughs> this is what it is. Yeah, okay. but it makes sense. We yes. appreciate it. Okay. So we use whipped eggs, right? So they come mm -hmm. into us. They're non-pasteurized. They're whipped eggs. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is, is we're going to add the ingredients once again. Until you get a salamander in here for me, I can't melt everything. <laughs> you can bring it here. Do. I've told you this. I know, but it's <laughs> the thousands of pounds. The thing and... that like melts things, right? Yeah, so okay. it's like heat, right? Like we don't yeah. have heat lamps, but when you need to melt the cheese on an omelet or whatever, so sure. we're gonna cook the ingredients. What about like a blow dryer? We can bring that. In. <laughs> yeah, we can bring that in. That's easy. That would be fun. Let's <laughs> you try it. Okay. Let's try it. Just see what goes on. Okay. Maybe like. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Welcome okay. to our fresh start with our blow dryer. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll table that idea. Sounds good. All right, so we're gonna heat the ingredients up in a separate pan to put in the omelet once it's done, okay? okay. So the omelet is kind of warming up. So we're gonna do a little bit of chorizo. I love chorizo. I know yes. you guys just love of chorizo. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a tomato in it. It's so good. It, People don't think about it enough or talk they about don't. it enough, in my opinion. There is, they don't. No, yeah, and, it's like and, a and we use little it. ingredient. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it's and so good. Absolutely like, amazing. We really, really mm -hmm. like it. So mm -hmm. then we have green chilies as well. I really like green chilies. And that is also what the omelet is topped with because, of course, it's plated beautifully and topped. Of so course, well, yeah, your plating's unmatched. Uh -huh. And then roasted onions. That's one of my favorite things ever. So we'll kind of just let that all kind of heat up. Okay. And then we'll add some cheese to it, okay? okay. This omelet also gets avocado. Uh, yeah, your perfectly ripe avocado that I can I never find. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, un, First yeah. Watch has like it's this like nothing whole thing about seen. avocados. I just like don't, under, like how does it look that pretty all the time? Yeah. I don't no. understand. I don't know. You know, one thing, this is just my observation about your whipped eggs. When I make scrambled eggs at home, like I work and work to get them to be well, all that's one because thing. They're, you know, but you still see like the stringy yeah, white throughout. Like correct. yours don't have that. No, because the the, the whipped eggs that we have, like they, oh, they come sorry. in a bag. Yeah, okay. they come in a bag. So if we have to use regular eggs and the whites are in there, mm -hmm. yeah, then you do that. Yeah. So what you always do is when the omelet starts to cook, just like we did with the, the, the Sam Tata that we made, mm -hmm. right, the frittata, mm -hmm. you want to take the old with the new. So what this does is this creates like a ripple effect. So when you see your omelet that has a ripple, that's what it is. Oh. They move and work the egg okay. to where it's, so then when you fold it over, mm -hmm. you see the pretty ripple side. Fun yes. fact of the day, I'll tell yes. you what. Yes. I love it. I love it. Yes, yes. It is, and trust me, it takes finesse. Like, mm -hmm. you know, oh, a lot of these cooks, like they go like this, they go like this, they go like yeah. this, and they go like this, and then they yeah. let the old, like the, the new run around. Yeah. And that's kind of where you are. I yeah. think we so, established that Blake and I don't have the finesse. No, we do not have finesse. On our eggs. No, no. Hey, I've got another question for you. So okay. you touched on that you could like sub egg whites if you want. Correct. What about, can you make it customizable? Like if there's more ingredients you wanted to add to it, is that an option? Oh yeah, you can okay. add anything you want to it. Okay, So cool. I can tell you that we have a lot of people that actually order this as a hash. So oh, you know your farmhouse hash? I love the hash. They yeah. add this all in with potatoes. That's okay, and I was then they put their eggs on the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause like if it was mine, That's if I was great. ordering, I feel like I'd even add like tomatoes to it just to yes. give it a little more something, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So just kind of you know the acapulco of the island feel, sure. cause there's onions and chilies. Yeah, and I love it. So, and then it's you know it's served with a side of pico, and then you add sour cream to the top. So good that's stuff. how you know it's fresh too. Whenever it comes, when you yeah, can it's add, fresh. <laughs> yeah, it's fresh. <laughs> when you can specifically say, leave this out or put this put in this or in. change Absolutely. something, yeah, you, you know can. that it's not something back there pre-made. A lot of people <laughs> add spinach to it. Oh, that's a great option. Mm -hmm. A little extra. Great. A lot of people change the cheese. They okay. Add that up. All right. So, so we're gonna take a quick break here, but tell us what like your next steps are gonna be. In so the then break. the next steps is once this kind of all melts and gets together, then we're gonna actually put it in the omelet and then flip it over. And then we'll top it with our green chilies. We also add the avocado mm -hmm. 
And then we add the sour cream on the top and then it's plated beautifully with toast and sides yes. and juices and yes. you know, yes. the whole shebang. All. all right, with your beautiful plating. We're trying, <laughs> I'm gonna right. do my best. With yep. that, we will be right back. <laughs>